Thursday afternoon. Time for Fred to present his final project. Fred planned to get to class early and well prepared, but that's not how things are working out. Because last night, instead of preparing for his presentation, Fred spent his time watching nonsense on YouTube. And now, he's realized he doesn't have the right adapter. His friend Jules happens to be passing by, so Fred asks to borrow his computer. But Fred has never used this computer, and when he opens his presentation, he realizes that the front he used isn't installed, and that the computer has taken the initiative to replace this with that. Je vais maintenant développer un premier point. Fred thought he wouldn't be interrupted during his presentation. <laughs> but he was. <laughs> nice job, Fred. Your audience must have enjoyed it. Today, whether at the university or in a professional setting, you are expected to know how to summarize in a few minutes the key points of a project that you have worked on for months. So what specifically do you need to do in order to give an effective oral presentation? To make sure you convey the most important information in the time given? To create and use an effective visual aid that you can look to if you lose your train of thought during the presentation? Here's a three-step method to help you do just that. First, define the purpose of your presentation. What is the main point? Use your written work, your notes, your teacher's instructions, and course requirements as a base, and start by clearly defining the purpose of your presentation. What is the general idea? The theme? The main point? This purpose will then determine the information you include and how you present it. Keep in mind that the message should be tailored to the audience that you will be addressing. Second, identify the information that is the most important to get across. Start by making a list of the ideas that you want to put forward. Based on the purpose of your presentation and the time allotted, choose the ideas that seem essential to your argument. Always start from the assumption that you won't be able to say everything. Be selective. Third, make an outline of your presentation. Once you have identified the main ideas, sketch out an outline of your presentation. Structure your ideas and link them together in a way that is logical, giving your primary message and the point of view you have chosen to adopt. A presentation typically unfolds in the following way. Introduction, body, conclusion, bibliographical references, and, if necessary, a thank you. Here are some points to keep in mind. Don't forget that your visual aid is not intended to give your presentation for you. Therefore, do not overload your slides. Stick to a maximum of one or two ideas per slide. Don't distract your audience by using tacky or unnecessary effects or animations. Use a muted background color. This will make the text easier to read. Don't write an essay. If you do, your audience will be reading instead of listening. Do use a sans serif font and make the letters big. The font size should be at least 20 point. Do use high contrast colors. Illustrate your presentation with pictures, images, and graphics. Make sure your graphics are legible. Do not forget to credit your sources even for images. To help you along, we've included a list of tips on how to improve your oral presentations in the key points section of this module. Alors, ça s'est passé comment Bah disons que si je suis sur YouTube, je pense que je vais faire pas mal de vues.